Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we're gonna to talk about recovering deleted files, and we're also gonna talk about deleting files securely so that they cannot be recovered, or at least the data on those files cannot be recovered. Uh, sometimes you're in a situation where you can't do a full disk format or a full disk wipe, like a secure wipe of a uh, full hard drive, which there's plenty of utilities out there that can do that. They can securely DOD multi-pass delete or wipe a entire disk uh, sometimes the use case doesn't call for that um, maybe like in my case you need to return a computer and you can't blow away the entire hard drive for obvious reasons um, you do want to make sure you get any sensitive data off of that computer so that it's not recoverable by the next person who boots that hard drive or gets their hands on it for obvious purpose for obvious reasons Let's take a quick look guys for this demonstration i've just created a very small partition on a flash drive i'll go ahead and create a folder here we'll call this secret and we'll create a file and we'll call this top secret and then we'll just put some data in here this is very confidential do not share Okay, control S to save it, Alt F4 to close it. And you see we have that file there, very good. Okay, so a lot of people think, oh, I'll just do a delete or I'll hold down shift and hit delete. And that'll do a permanent delete, bypassing any recycle bin or anything like that. I'm so glad we got rid of that confidential data. We're all good, right? No. We're gonna look at one application here, guys, called DMDE. Here's the website. I'll leave a link in the description. There are a ton of applications out there that can drill into the disk and look for deleted files. Because essentially what happens when you delete a file, guys, even if you take it out of the recycle bin or whatever the case may be, all you're really doing is telling your computer, hey, forget about where that file is. I no longer need it. Just remove the pointers to that file. It's still physically on the hard disk. Uh, so what you need to do is actually overwrite the space that was used for that particular file or folder. That's the only way you can really get rid of, quote unquote, that file or ensure that it's not recoverable. So this again is a utility, uh, DMDE. It's free for up to 4,000 files per recovery, which is a lot of times plenty. But if you have to do a massive recovery, again, feel free to look for other applications, utilities. This is a good one though, um, for the price, if you need to do a full blown massive recovery, I think it's like 25 bucks for the, you know, unlimited utility. So give it a, um, give it a peek, or if you have a, a better flavor, feel free to use any utility you want. If you got a better one, let me know. I'd be curious to check it out. All right guys. So this is DMDE. Just go ahead and download that and then run it. And you can do all kinds of things here. We're going to look at a logical disk because we created a very small partition. So in our case, the E drive, we'll hit OK. We'll drop that down and you see we have a folder called secret. So let's take a look in there and look at that. We've got a we've got a top secret document. So even though on the E drive, I don't see anything. I'm sorry, in the E drive secret, since I deleted that file, I don't see anything. You can see very well right here that I do see that document. So we can recover that. We'll just check it, right click and do recover files. You can't recover it to the same drive that you're um, drilling into. So we couldn't put it back on the E drive directly. You could do that after, um, but let's just drop it on the desktop. I hit okay and we're done. So here's that, you see I've already been working on this a little bit, but here's that top secret document. And there you are. And this is very confidential. Do not share. Let's clean this stuff up a little here, guys. So that was easy, right? I mean, you thought it was gone. It's not. We recovered it. We have access to it. Bada bing, bada boom. So what do we do to make sure that that is not the case, that people cannot recover <clears throat> files that we have if they were to get our hand, their hands on a drive? Maybe we've... Um, thought we e-wasted it, but they didn't destroy it. Maybe we gifted someone a computer, whatever the case may be. Maybe you had to return a computer. This is where a program like sdelete comes in. Again, there are a ton of utilities out there. This is a Microsoft supported sysinternals application. 
Sys Internals is usually pretty solid, guys. So if you haven't checked out the suite of Sys Internals, definitely recommend you doing that. Uh, this guy right here is a genius. Mark Russin. I don't know how to say that. Russinovich. He's awesome. Builds so many cool tools for Sys Internals. Anyways, today we're looking at S-Delete. So you can just follow this link. I'll provide both the link to this and DMDE in the description. You'll download S-Delete, extract it to a folder, and then just crack open a terminal. I'm on Windows 11. Now they're calling it a terminal. And you would just CD into wherever you downloaded that. So in my case, it was downloads and then S-Delete. And then you're going to run S-Delete. Now let's take a look at the parameters or the switches here. So you see we have a few switches. The first one we're going to run is the uh, R for remove only. And we're going to do S for recurse. We don't really need to do that, but we're going to do it just for demonstration purposes. And you can do multiple passes, but honestly, one pass should be sufficient, guys. But if you're paranoid and you want to do three or four passes, just throw the, the P switch in there and then identify the number of passes you want. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do an S delete, do an R, we'll do an S, and then we're gonna specify the uh, folder, which was, I think we just called it secret, right? Yeah, E, secret. Okay. All right, let's run that. So there you go, directories deleted one. So let's see what that did. Actually, what we should do next is run a uh, clean and zero. So what this will do guys is this will take the free space um, from that drive. So free space is basically anything that's not allocated. So if you deleted a file that becomes part of the unallocated space on the partition of the drive. So it'll zero out and clean that free space. Shouldn't impact anything that is on the drive. So if we go in here now and we create another file, let's just say do not delete me. I'm innocent. Please do not nuke me. Have a nice day. McFoley style. All right, control S to save, Alt F4 to close. We've got a file there. So let's just run this. So again, guys, S delete. We're gonna do the, um, remove read only we're going to do a clean and then we're going to zero out any free space on that drive we're just doing one pass again feel free to do as many passes as you want um nist has kind of said that one pass is sufficient but do your own research there okay so let's close out a dmd now that that's ran and let's relaunch it Again, I'm going into logical disks. I'm going to select my volume. I'm hitting OK. Here's our partition. And you see the folder there, but there's no files. So what we've done is we've zeroed out all of those, uh, all the unused space in that drive, right? But we didn't touch the files that were safe to keep. So hopefully that makes sense what we just did, guys. So we got rid of all the unused space on that drive. You see the secret folder here, uh, there's nothing in it. So there's essentially nothing to recover there. This is a quick video on how you can securely get rid of files um, and ensure that they are irrecoverable if the drive gets in the wrong hands. And it's just good practice to sanitize your data, right? And get rid of it securely. Cause not a lot of people know this stuff. Like when you, do a factory reset there's a very easy option in windows let's say you're gifting your nephew or somebody a pc you can do reset windows or factory reset windows whatever terminology they're using now they change it in different os's actually it looks like you have a fresh install like an out-of-the-box experience um, little do many people know all of your data from the previous os is sitting on that hard drive so that means if you have Google with safe passwords, that technically all that data is just chilling on the hard drive. And it doesn't take um, 
you know, an experienced hacker. It just takes someone with very simple utility to launch and have access to all of that data. So again, guys, if you can afford to do it and the use case is correct, the best thing you want to do is completely destroy that drive. And I mean physically destroy it, right? This is the recommended safest way to just obliterate any chance of anyone getting their hands on your data. Uh, they have services to do it. You can do it yourself with a drill or a hammer. I mean, you can find a service for, they'll do it for under 20 bucks for a hard drive, right? But get rid of the uh, capability or the chance that someone could do anything with that drive if the use case calls for it. Second best is going to be to run a utility. Um, there, again, there's a thousand of them out there, if not more. One that comes to mind is one on my USB that I built, uh, Derek's Boot and Nuke. It will allow you to select the algorithms, number of passes, but it does what we're doing here, but on a full disk level. So there's nothing left on the entire disk. Obviously not the um, ideal or not, not even a... Uh, possibility if you're in a situation that calls to not completely destroy everything on a hard drive right and sometimes that is the case like me I have to return a PC to the store because I got a lemon and I want my data off there but if I uh, completely obliterate the hard drive and the image on there I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be too happy about that so uh, I'm just gonna make sure I do my due diligence and I safely delete all of my information um, my profiles, any cache data, things like that, and get rid of it completely. That way I feel pretty safe about sending it back. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've used other tools to perform these actions. Uh, today, again, we looked at DMDE to recover deleted files. And then we also took a, a look at the uh, Sys Internals S Delete. Very powerful tool. If you guys are using something else, maybe you use like uh, Disk Drill or bit racer whatever you guys are using let me know uh, let me know if you found a better way to do this more efficient or if you have any tips or feedback for me i'm always looking to interact with the community I'm not claiming i know everything i know quite a bit uh, there's always trust me always more to learn in it so again guys let's let's get interactive give me some feedback and um try this out on your own let me know how it goes appreciate you guys tuning in if you haven't done so already please hit the thumbs up button Subscribe to the channel. Take care, guys. Until the next one, have a great day.